Hey, Who made this? Who made this? Way too much flex, not enough hustle Things are working out, I got it off the muscle Just a year ago, I was knee deep in the struggle But now they looking cause they never Alright, so, so if you had to pick a genre for yourself Now, you know, hip hop is not just boom bap no more It's not just about the lyrics, you know, now it's, it's different now You know what I'm saying, so you know, so is R and B. It's so many sub genres, right, and right, right, right. you know, like like most rappers or rappers nowadays, they rock stars. You know right, what I'm saying? Right, right, or, right, right. or vice versa. So, how do you feel like if, if you had to put yourself in a genre? What, what would your genre be? <laughs> I don't feel like I could, like, mm -hmm. cause I, I, I mean, I don't feel like I could fit. I don't, I don't fit. I don't fit in. <laughs> you just all over. You just yeah, I'm all, all over. Yeah. yeah, I do. I pretty much. I, 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 I put myself in. In all type of environments, like I like I like country music, I like rock right. music, I like pop. You know, I pretty much, I grew up on Michael Jackson. I'm riding around listening to Paul McCartney right okay. now. Right. You know what I mean? And, and uh, 70s, you know, 70s rock, 60s, 80s rock. Like I was a fan, so I mean, I I like the whole rock star thing too. Like right. I like the Beatles. And, you know, yeah, I mean, me too. Yeah, everybody yeah. doing. You know. I don't think I can be placed in the genre, so I mean, I was always well rounded in when it came to music. Uh -huh. um, in my, my ear, like, to, to like the music, like, it was. So, so, so basically, it, that goes to my next question. That's basically what inspires you. Yeah. Good music. Right. And not being biased, just where you come from or right. what you're used to or what your surroundings of right. people that you hang with may like. It's about what you like, and, mm -hmm. and that's what helps you to. To bring such a good track to the right. table and things right. like that. Yeah, and just to be diverse. To, uh, you know what I mean? Be diverse when you come. Come in the studio, man. Like when, when you, you know, what I mean, versus when you hearing the, you keep listening to a Gucci track all day. You gonna pretty much come sound like Gucci, man. Yeah, yeah. You, gonna come, yeah, you gonna come having Gucci melodies. You mm -hmm. gonna come Gucci rhymes. You, mm -hmm. know, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's true. If you mix it up and add a little, like Paul McCartney or Stevie Wonder or somebody or somebody old or somebody you wouldn't normally listen to, like a like a, 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 a John Mayer or something like that. You know what I mean? True. You mix him in. With your music and you, you start to feel like you like oh snap like I'm I'm doing key changes. <laughs> I'm doing key changes. Yeah, yeah. In rap though, in hip hop, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? Like Kendrick Lamar, he does key changes because he broadens his his ear. Like he, he right. listens to a variety of different music. Like so yeah. Okay, so then I'm on. Who do you think people compare you to? As in, as in you know, I say mainstream. You know what I'm saying? Because you know. Uh, you, you, I feel like, my opinion, you have a great reputation, you know what I'm saying, you work hard and, and your name's out there, but you know, who do you think they, they compare you to in the, in the mainstream? Well, they compare me, I mean, I, I get compared a lot to, uh, you know, Chris Brown, but, mm -hmm. I mean, I, I do, I do a lot behind the scenes, okay. too, so, I mean, people compare me to Neo also, then they'll, then they'll turn around and they'll say, you know, like, uh, uh Eric Bellinger, Okay. Cause he's behind the scenes guy as well. Um, James Fauntleroy. I get compared to a lot of behind the scenes people because, but that are still relevant in main. You know what I mean? In the limelight as well. They, okay. I get compared to those guys because that's pretty much. I think them the people who I look up to. Like they, they are the creators. Oh, yeah, I mean? exactly. Yeah, other other mainstream artists like James Fauntleroy writes all Rihanna music, and you know he. He just was on stage with Bruno Mars. The one with uh. the, he had the rap, the fake, you know what I mean? The oh yeah. yeah. Going, like, okay. He just he wrote he pretty much wrote all James uh, all Bruno Mars shit. <laughs> right. Justin Timberlake. He but yeah, yeah. All right, behind and, the scenes people. And and you are song songwriter yourself. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, and, uh, and, yeah. Uh, yeah. An engineer. Engineer, songwriter, producer. Yeah. Rapper. I dance as you well. Dancer. I play the drums. I've been playing drums since I've been five years old. And I'm just now getting to the point where I can, I, I want to teach myself other instruments. So I've been, for like the past year or two, I've been teaching myself the guitar and the, and the keyboard. And, you know what I mean? Just, and that's when the producing, that's where the producing came from. <laughs> so, that's tight though, yeah. that's tight. So, um, so what do you feel like? Never know what's in the duffel. Way too much flex, not enough hustle. Things are working out. I got it off the muscle. Just a year ago, I was knee deep in the struggle. But now they looking, cause they never know what's in the duffel.